Hi, my name is Kimberly Smith. I'm a conservation biologist and I'm going to show you how to build a wood duck box today. So we've pre-cut all of the wood for you and this is only one form of, of a box. There's all different plans for making wood duck boxes. Um, in this one we have uh, two sides that are cut out. The second piece, uh, they're cut at a slant so that the roof is slanted and the bottom piece is cut for the door. Um, then you have the back which is solid but yet it's going to be a little bit longer than the whole piece because you're going to need that to put a nail in the bottom to secure it to your, po your post. And then the front which we have which is going to have a slight angle on the top and it's been pre-marked now for where our hole will be and when you get your uh, set of, of uh, pieces of wood hopefully they'll all already cut this piece out for you so you'll be ready to go there and then the bottom of the wood which we will also put holes into to make sure that water can drain out of it and then your roof and that's all you need to build a wood duck box you're going to take your two sides they're going to be slanted on the top, which is where your roof's going to be, and you want the slant going towards the front. And we're going to put the back on the box. So you're just going to set that up. You want this side to be even. Now I'm going to use two drills because I want my wood not to split. So I'm going to drill a pre-drill hole for each of my screws. So got one on the top. You're going to drill another hole towards the bottom to secure the bottom. And that side's ready. And now you're going to put the door on. Now you want your door to have a little bit of an opening here. I like that because when you open the door you can see if there's a wasp nest in there or not. Sometimes. But it gives you that, that uh, possibility. And we're going to be making a door hinge on this side. So... I'm going to drill a hole, and this hole I want to be much more uh, open because I'm going to use a nail. And the reason why I'm going to use a nail is because this is going to be your door hinge and you want the door to be able to open more fluidly and it doesn't do that with a screw. Okay, so. So there's our door the pivots and our other side and now we're going to put on the front and the front on one side will be slanted a little bit as well so you line up with the one solid side that doesn't have the door on it pre-drill your holes again One on the top, one on the bottom. Now for the door, since you're making a hinge point there, you want to make sure that your hinge is directly across from each other because that makes the door open best. So I'm just going to make a little line right here.
and then I'll put my other screw or my other nail on this side. Like I said, we're using the nail because you want the door to open easy. It doesn't have to go all the way in. So now we have our door and see if you have them across from each other then they open up really easily. Next we'll put in our bottom. Which will fit in like this. Your bottom doesn't have to be totally exactly perfect because you're going to be pre-drilling some holes in there anyway to be able to allow for drainage. So you just stick it in there. We do the same on the other sides. Okay, so now we have our bottom on the box. I'm going to put some screws on the back side when I'm done. And now we need to put in our door, our bottom door panel. So it opens in and out. You just fit it to the door. I put about two screws per panel, but you can do more. I don't, would not do any less. If you want to make it more secure. Okay, so now we have our door on the hinge and we're going to attach our roof. So I usually put just a little bit overhang in the back, not much, and line it up square. And again, you're always pre-drilling your holes so that hopefully the wood will not split. And this is cypress. You want to use cypress or cedar, some hardy wood if you can, that will last the longest in the outdoors. And this is rough cut wood that we've bought. And the reason for that is that uh, it's cheaper and because it gives the wood, the ducklings some uh, surface to scratch on to be able to get out of the box a little easier. So there we go, there's your uh, put together box. Still need to have the hole cut in it, which will probably, if, uh, if you get a kit, it will already be pre-drilled. Another thing we can do is put a door holder this doesn't match up exactly, but it doesn't have to. When it'll be hanging, it'll be fine. So you put a door holder in, which is a long nail or whatever you prefer. And you're just gonna nail that in and then work it a little bit. That's gonna be your handle to keep the door from opening while it's hanging up on the pole. And also we're gonna stick in a little screw on the door that helps you to open the door a little bit essentially like this so now your door your door cannot open and you have a little handle for it when we build the boxes you're on top of water most of the time and sometimes we have floods that will cause the boxes to get water in them so one of the things we do is we pre-drill some holes or we put some holes in the bottom of the box and usually a, like a, the um, shape of, or the figure of what a uh, number five die will look like. It's just five holes. So essentially that just allows water to drain out. Another thing you can do to help yourself out when you're putting up a box is you're gonna be putting a nail through the bottom here to secure the bottom to the post. If you wanna go ahead and just pre-drill a hole for yourself, That'll help you once you get in the field to be able to secure that to the pole without having to get through the wood as much. And then finally, you want to build, you want to put in a hole for your threaded rod that's going to hang the wood duck box onto the post. And now we just need to uh, make a hole into it 
but I'll show you on a box that's already done that this is what your hole looks like. And you make this hole with a hole saw two, two different times to get it. And then you can use a rasp to, to make the inside here smoother for the uh, ducklings and the, the hen to come in and out. But they've done research that's shown uh, what size this needs to be and to keep predators out, but yet to let the hen go in and out of the box. So here's our completed wood duck box, all ready to go out in the field.